All right, today's the day I'm gonna start putting it all back together so it looks like a bike again. I'm still waiting on some cables for the new display so I can run them through the frame down to where the controller needs to go. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is replace the pedal assist sensor. The reason is because the one that came on this bike is a, what is that, six pin? And the new controller uses a three pin. So I got this guy off Amazon. It's a three pin, but it's a Mel adapter. And the controller is also a Mel adapter. So I got a double female three pin. So just got this rubber mallet here. I'm going to pull off the crank here and uh, replace the sensor. All right, so I pounded off the crank, came off okay. This is the old guy. I just kind of used a flathead screwdriver and wiggled it loose. And it looks the same as the new guy, except this one's got a bit of a inner lip that sticks out. And the new guy doesn't, so I'm going to try to pull this part out and stick it into this guy. It was actually pretty easy. Just used my needle nose pliers, pulled out the ring, came right out, and snapped it right into the new guy. So now I'll put this new guy on, run the cable up where the controller goes. To get the new guy snug, I just took a socket on the axle and then whacked it with the rubber mallet and seemed to, s seemed to snug up there pretty good. To get the new cable fished up, there's a couple weird turns. So it's got to go in here, go up, and out up there few ways to do it. I took the easiest way, but there's no going back, so I cut the cable off the old guy, taped the new cable to the end of it, and then I'll just pull the old one out, and hopefully this guy fishes up with it. So, got that. Pass sensor cable ran through. Have it taped up here just so I don't lose it or accidentally pull it down. Next, uh, the Buffane controller, the original controller, uses a 1T4. I guess that means 1 to 4. It's this fatter cable here. This goes straight across to display uh, brakes and throttle. There's a little uh, stop piece or a cover right there. You take off one Allen screw. So I'll pull all that out through the back, and then I will fish in... The new throttle cable and when my display cable comes because it's a pretty much straight shot hopefully it comes today or tomorrow I'll uh, fish that straight through back to the controller that's what the 1t4 cable looks like now that it's pulled out so the all I have left going through is the headlight cable the lights just go to little uh, regular connectors that's for the headlight and there's another one right here that goes to the tail light. So uh, I'll leave those, I'll disconnect these, and uh, then I'll rip out the old controller. Got all the cables disconnected on the old Bafang controller. So now there's a screw there and a screw there. So I'm going to take this guy out and figure out how I'm going to fit this big guy in. And just for size comparison, here's the old controller. Here's the new one. I don't know if bigger means better, but if it does, new guy. Here's how the new controller looks in the bike. I got the front part screwed in with the existing hole. But as you can see, I'm short hitting the original hole in the back. Found this little piece of scrap metal in the garage 
and I think it's going to work good. I drilled a hole for that guy to fit. And then underneath, I put some, some chalk marker, you know, chalk, pencil, graphite. Just rub the hell out of it. And then I lined this guy up and pushed it up against it. When I had the mark, I drilled the hole. So I'll put some thread lock on these guys and screw this on. And if you don't want to do this, I imagine zip ties. Do a bunch of zip ties from there, wrap it around the bar. And that should be fine. And there it is all fabbed up. I have the bracket of the controller on top of the flange I made. That's in case this nut uh, and bolt come loose and fall out. The controller will still be resting on the bracket, which is screwed into the original hole right there. So, I guess next would be to wire up what I can. This is not the original battery cable that came with the Anza. Um, I cut the old ter barrel terminal connectors off. They're just, just generic wire con uh, connectors. I soldered this guy on and then I put heat wrap, heat shrink around it. I went with this fitting because that's what came with the new controller. So I'll plug this guy in. What else we got? We got the motor, which just goes right there. We have the display, which I'm still waiting on the cables. Um, it came with, this is mass uh, taped off. This is a red two pin that goes to a brake light. Uh, let's see. Here's the throttle. Throttle's a six pin, which was the six pin on the PAS. Um, the old one, I think that's how I fried the old controller, my first controller. So I plugged, I was like, oh, six pin, six pin. I plugged it in and I think I let the smoke out. So we got motor, we got power, we got uh, three reds, two are for brake, one is for headlights which I got to get an adapter for. I'm not too worried about it right now. And then we got the new pass cable. All right, so first uh, roadblock. Uh, here's the controller pass cable. Here's the adapter I got. Slightly off color, but the pins match. Must have been made in different Chinese factories. I cannot get this to fit in. This is half a millimeter, millimeter wider than the fittings on here. So, experimenting, I cut off the nub. The plastic seems to be some kind of hardened plastic, so kind of chipped a bit. But there's still some meat there. Once you cut off that rib, um, like I did here, that cable fits in fine. Not really what I wanted to do. Hopefully it still works, but I'm going to cut the rib off on this guy, put the cable in, and to keep the cables clean, I took off this nut here in the controller and I'm gonna move all the cables up above it. Try to clean up the bird's nest that the Anzas have right here. Got all the cables up on top of the controller. Looks a lot cleaner in the front. All I gotta do now is get my display cables. I'll probably have to do a part two when they show up and finish it up. Hopefully it comes today. I'll get another video up tomorrow. Throttle cable, got it tied in with the uh, cable dressing, bringing it down. I couldn't seem to push it through, just kept binding up on itself, so I ran a wire through. This is a welding rod, but you could use a coat hanger. Pushed it through, hooked that up to the throttle cable, and then I should just be able to pull. This one all the way through. There we go. So, here's the new throttle cable. I'll wire this up, and I think that's where I'll have to stop today. Yeah, I think that's a stopping point until I get the green display cable extenders to run through the bar to the controller. I really can't do much else, and I don't want to button it up fully. But as you can see, I got all the cables on top of the controller. Once I get the throttle in, I'll screw that guy back in without pinching the cables. Let's see underneath here, it looks a little better. 
than original. Um, all I have left is the display cable and the headlights, which I'm not going to worry about right now. So that's the end of part one. I'll uh, do a part two when I finish it up. Thanks.